We are now supposed to take seriously every allegation of something terrible happening. I mentioned yesterday one of the allegations from a woman named Sophie Karasek, a survivor's rights advocate and progressive organizer who appeared at the Oscars with Lady Gaga. And she now has a piece in the Washington Post called A Photo of Me and Joe Biden Went Viral. I want him to take ownership for his actions. This is the one I talked about yesterday, where this lady took the photo, had it printed, had it framed, put it on her bookshelf, and then decided two, year, two to three years later that it was actually a very, very bad thing. Very, very bad. She apparently, had, she apparently interacted with Biden two months later at a conference in Colorado. She said, quote, I was eager to tell him about the good the photo had done, so I zipped in line to greet him. Sophie, he exclaimed, and we talked about the photo. The interaction was completely normal. I felt proud then. But as time passed, I began to feel a sense of shame and belittlement every time I saw the photo. So over time, it started to offend you? And this is Joe Biden's fault? No one can live by these constantly shifting standards in the Democratic Party. I mean, really, there's this moment in the new, not very good Star Wars movie in The Last Jedi, where Kylo Ren, who is the bad guy, turns to Rey, who is the... Mary Sue, good character, <laughs> and they are, they are fighting together for a brief moment in time. And Kylo Ren turns to Mary Sue and she, to, to, Re, to Ray, sorry, and says to her, and says to her, you know, we should just kill all the oldies and start something new. And she's like, no, we can't do that. We totally can't. And then they fight each other, right? Well, that is basically what the Democratic Party is right now. It's a battle between Kylo Ren and Ray. It's the newbies saying, let's kill all the oldies. Let's kill all of them, right? Sure. They helped us build this empire. Sure, they're the ones who got us to where we are, but they're oldies, man, and they don't understand the new wave. Now, the thing about this sort of mentality is that the revolutionaries are usually the first to the guillotine, meaning that sooner or later, these people will be hoisted by their own petard. Biden is one of them, by the way. He's one of the people who pushed for lowering standards when it came to proving sexual misconduct in Title IX cases, for example. But Biden is now being shellacked by his own party for stuff that even the people who were the quote-unquote victims did not consider victimization at the time. That's how far we have moved. And the worm has turned. I mean, Nancy Pelosi, I'm old enough to remember when Nancy Pelosi was the great radical inside her own party. Now she's the establishment holding back the radicals. For example, yesterday, Bernie Sanders tweeted this out. He tweeted out, those who, those who oppose Medicare for all need to explain why our current failed system should be allowed to continue bankrupting the American people. Okay, well, then Nancy Pelosi comes out and she's like, um, you know that Medicare for all thing? Uh, not a great idea. If he really opposes Medicare for all, by the way, if he's upset with Medicare for all, I mean, for, with, with opponents of Medicare for all, you know who she, he should talk to? Joe Biden and Barack Obama. Because Barack Obama is the creator of that system he is criticizing right there. When Bernie Sanders says, if you stand for the current system, you're standing for high costs on people, who does he think constructed the current system? He voted for it, by the way. It was Barack Obama and Joe Biden who, as I recall, said to Barack Obama that the new system was a big effing deal, a phrase that was so popular among Democrats that it was sold on a T-shirt by the DNC. It's the old guard Democrats versus the newfangled socialists. 